all of the rendezvous maneuvers and uh, thruster firings from the Soyuz uh, were executed in flawless fashion. And uh, the Soyuz approached the neighborhood of the International Space Station about three hours after launch. In this view of the Soyuz from external cameras on the International Space Station, uh, it was a totally automated approach. All of the uh, Soyuz systems operated in excellent shape. And uh, the final phase of the rendezvous following a fly around of the Soyuz uh, was conducted uh, with no issues whatsoever. The final approach command was given, and the Soyuz slowly but surely uh, closed uh, the gap between itself and the station, finally docking uh, to the Rosviet module at, at a speed of about one tenth of a meter per second. Uh, with the docking occurring over Ukraine, south of Kyiv, at uh, 1.53 p.m. Central Time, 2.53 p.m. Eastern Time. This uh, replay shows uh, the final uh, approach and the final few feet before docking with contact and capture occurring as planned. That was followed by uh, the docking probe being retracted to pull the two docking uh, surfaces flush against one another, allowing hooks to close on both sides of the docking interface to form a hard mate. On your go, on, on your, when you're ready. Hold on, a, hold on a minute. I can't. So again, uh, the launch and docking uh, went as smooth as can be expected. Uh, no issues whatsoever. Uh, one of the uh, smoothest uh, crew launches for a Soyuz vehicle in recent memory, with uh, no technical issues uh, having had to be worked uh, by the Soyuz crew and uh, no issues on final approach and docking that culminated a three-hour, nine-minute uh, trip for Kononenko, Chub, and Laurel O'Hara. The uh, leak checks are continuing, uh, the pressure checks at the docking interface as uh, the crews on both sides of the docking interface, uh, Dmitry Patelin on the Rosviet side, the station side of the docking interface, and uh, Kononenko and Chub on the Soyuz side are in the process of checking out uh, their vehicle systems, uh, making sure that we have uh, the correct pressure equalization to enable the hatch to open and allow the uh, three new arrivals to board the International Space Station. There is a view of the newly arrived uh, Soyuz vehicle docked to the Rosviet module with the Okay, Northrop Grumman Cygnus spacecraft on the right of your screen and on the left of your screen is uh, the Nyoka multipurpose laboratory module and just out of the field of view atop the Prashal module, the node module docking port is the Soyuz MS-23 vehicle that will be the ride home in 12 days on September 27th for the station commander Sergei Prokopiev, Dmitry Patelin and NASA's Frank Rubio who are wrapping up a 371-day mission aboard the International Space Station, which for Rubio uh, sets a record for the longest single spaceflight by an American astronaut in history. Uh, yes.